Welcome back. Today we're talking about bringing images and videos into Apple Notes, which in itself is a fairly simple process. However, I'm going to give you a couple of interesting hacks and tricks that will make your lives much easier when you deal with images in Apple Notes. This is episode four of this Apple Notes Masterclass. Let's get started. So importing images or videos for that matter in Apple Notes is a fairly simple process. I've got a note open here. And as you can see, there is a button here that allows me to include images or videos. And if I click on it, there are a series of options, which are pretty much replicated on iPhone and iPad as well, that allow me to insert photos. I can add a photo from the photo library, and I can also take photos immediately using my iPhone or my iPad, because I can tap into those cameras to bring something in. So the typical example would be probably to access your photo library. So dragging a photo or even a video from a photo library is very simple, either from that menu or just by dragging the photo library next to um, Apple Notes. At this point, I can take one of those images and simply drag it into Apple Notes. This will copy the image into Apple Notes. So you will have duplicate images. Whatever you then change into photos will stay in photos. They will be completely different files. There are a few options here. If you click on this little uh, button, you have the option to mark up the photo. So make little edits or maybe take a written note, especially if you have an Apple Pencil that may, may be useful. Or you may have even more of these um, options depending on what apps you've got installed on your Mac. More options are here if you right-click. In this case, you can decide to view images as a small file, which may be useful if you have many images on the same uh, node. Or you can have the ability to quick look the attachment, which is the same behavior as pressing the space bar in the Finder. Or maybe you can click and open the attachment in the app that on your Mac manages those files. For example, Preview or GIMP or any other software you use. So this is fairly straightforward. If you drag in a video, then Apple Notes will give you the play uh, buttons directly inside of Apple Notes. Now let's have a look at a use case to show what this thing can do in the real world. Let's say I'm researching fire. I'm looking for images. Uh, fire, maybe I want to create a mood board. What I can do, I can browse the internet. In this case, I'm on uh, unsplash.com. And I'm using this one mainly because it's copyright free images. So in this video, they are fine to use. And every time I find an image that I like, I can simply um, click on it and I can drag the image across to Apple Notes. And this image is now on my mood board. And I can continue doing this thing um, across this website or maybe across more than one website, creating my own mood board. Um, an interesting thing is that if a few weeks down the line, I want to go back to this image, I may not remember where that is. So before dragging, what I normally do is to right click on the image, copy the link, and then I drag the image. And once the image is there, I simply command V, I paste the address, the URL for that image. So this is the first use of a note in that sense from a research perspective. And by the way, you can do exactly the same thing on your iPads or um, iPhones, browsing, using Safari to browse and then copying and moving images across. By the way, let me show you this because not many people know about these things. If I have a website on my iPad open on, um, on a specific page and I want to save an image, what I can do is this. I can tap on the image until it moves. In this case, I don't know where you can see it, but it's moving. I can then swipe up, click on the notes icon, um, and then I can release. And at this point, this image will be attached to that note. So the same thing that we did on the, um, on the Mac using the mouse and dragging things across can be done on the iPad and on the iPhone just by tapping and holding and dragging things across different apps. Not many people know this thing, so make sure you tell your friends so you look very smart. The last thing that I wanted to show you is how to deal with moving images, so little videos. Let's say you found a nice video of a uh, fire, for example, that you want to store, again, as a mood board. And this is something you may want to use, for example, like in my case, if I find a video that has a very nice transition or maybe a special effect or a specific way of typing text that I like, and I may want to use an, as an inspiration for one of my videos, I can save it in this mood board just by taking this little video and copying it across. So in this case, if I wanted to save uh, this video and drag it into my note, I couldn't do it because if I click on it and try and drag, it simply doesn't move. So what I normally do is this. I start the screen recorder on my Mac, 
This is the key combination to get it started. And if it doesn't start, look in your settings as shown here. And I let it record for a few seconds. Then I stop the recording and then the file will be saved on the Finder. I get it from the Finder and I drag it into Apple Notes. And at that point, this little file, this little video is in my mood board. And when I have 30, 40, 50 videos there, I can then use this mood board to pick ideas and to determine and choose what I want to do next. I hope you found this one useful. See you at the next lesson.